Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a vaporwave effect in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. Inside the cut window in your software, hold Ctrl and press I to insert a media file to your project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool master bin, select the thumbnail of the video or image file that you have inserted into the project and go to left click on the append button which appears below the media pool bin. This should move your media file to the timeline. Go to select the edit tab at the bottom of your screen. Go to effects library. Underneath toolbox and generators, go to find solid color. Left click on this, hold the mouse button down and drag this to your timeline above the edit representing your original file already on the project timeline. Let go of your left mouse button once the solid color edit is in place. The length of the solid color must be the same as that of the original media file you put onto your timeline. If it isn't, go to the end of the solid color edit, left click and drag this to resize the edit. Select your solid color edit. Go to Inspector. Underneath Generator, go to double click on the black box which appears alongside Color. Inside the HTML box which appears in the Select Color window, type in the following hexadecimal code to create a light purple shade. Hashtag D445DE. Click OK. Underneath Composite, the Composite mode should be set to Normal by default. Click on this and change this to Darken. Now change the opacity to 75%. Select your chosen video or image file on your timeline. Go to select the color tab at the bottom of your screen. Ensure that nodes and open effects are open inside the color window. Underneath Open Effects and Library, scroll down until you find the Film Damage node. Left click on this and drag this to node 1 which represents your original media file. Let go of your mouse button once your cursor is over the first node. You should see an effect symbol appearing next to the node number. Change the Film Blur to 0.015 and to create a faint dark edge around the frame of your video or image file, change the focal factor and geometry factor to 0.382. Scroll down to the Add Dirt properties. Double click on the black box next to Dirt Color. Type in the hexadecimal code hashtag 2A153F. Click OK. This will be the colour of the flickering grain effect which will appear on your screen when you play your media file. Changing dirt should be ticked, dirt density set to 3, dirt size 5, dirt blur 0 0.123 and dirt seed 5. Scroll down inside your settings window to the add scratch 1 properties. Double click on the black box next to scratch colour. For the hexadecimal code here, type in 8F8F8F. This will be a colour of a line which appears and moves around on your footage. Click OK. Enable should be ticked so that the scratch appears on screen. Scratch position should be set to 0 0.159. Scratch width set to 0 0.5. Scratch strength to 0 0.5. Scratch blur to 1. Moving scratch should be ticked. Moving amplitude should be 0 0.049. Moving speed, 0 0.2. Moving randomness, 0 0.2. And flickering speed, 0 0.7. To add further scratches to your media file, scroll down from Add Scratch 1 to find Add Scratch 2, 3, 4 and 5. Go to left click on Fusion at the bottom of your screen. Ensure that your media in one node is selected. Hold in shift and press space. Search for the grain tool in the select tool window which appears. Click on this and then go to add. The new grain node should appear in the middle connected to the two original nodes. 
With the Grain 1 node still selected, hold Shift and press Space. This time select Directional Blur. Left click and go to Add. And this fourth node should be connected after Grain 1. Throughout my Vaporwave video, I wish for the shades from the blue and red colour channels to be significant. In order to make the shades from these specific colour channels visible, we need to make sure first of all that the Directional Blur node is selected. Go to Inspector and go down to Settings. Left click on the green box which appears next to Process so that this is unselected. Go back to Controls. To create temporary glow effects in my video, what I need to check first of all as the DaVinci Resolve user is the frame rate for my media file here. If I go to my media pool and right click on the original video file which I inserted into this project and select Clip Attributes, we can see under video that this particular file that I've chosen with the palm trees each second comprises of 30 still images. On the timeline in my fusion window here, we can tell that the first frame number featuring the palm trees is frame 420. We can use the first vertical yellow line on this timeline to establish this. The final frame in this video clip is marked by the second vertical yellow line appearing on the far right side here of the timeline. In order to go to the first frame, we can manually drag the red line which appears on the timeline here. Or we can type in the frame number in the box in the bottom right corner underneath the preview window. To make the red and blue channel colours show slightly on the whole video clip, what we need to do is apply settings to the length and glow variables and also establish these as keyframes so that the values that we set in both of these boxes here will apply to frame 420 and all subsequent frames until we create another keyframe further down the timeline with different values. I'm going to set length to 0 0.002 and glow to 0 0.01. You may see some faint colour shades appear to the side of the subject in your visual content, such as the faint red effect here to the left of the palm trees. I want each of the temporary intense glow effects to last no more than one second on my video clip. I'm going to have one of these effects occur at the one second mark on my video clip, which is frame 450. Since we don't want the length of the blur or the glow to intensify earlier than this point here, we must make sure that the keyframes are selected here, so that in the first second of this video, the length and glow are 0 0.002 and 0 0.01 respectively, and do not change. By frame 460, I want the length and glow to increase slightly. I'm going to increase the length to 0.014 and the glow to 0.024. Again, like with frame 450, ensure that keyframe settings are applied here as well, so that the length of the blur and the glow intensifies across these 10 frames. By frame 470, we want the length and the glow values to decrease to the original ones that we set at the start at frame 420. Therefore, I'm going to skip forward to 470. Set keyframes to length and glow and set the original length value of 0.002 and the original glow value of 0.01 so that across 20 frames, the length of the blur and the glow intensifies and then goes back to normal. You can tell on the Fusion timeline where you have previously applied keyframes by the small white vertical lines which appear towards the top of the frame numbers. And as you can see on this later project here, I've applied three similar effects to different stages of the same video clip, where the length and glow properties of the directional blur node are modified to create an intense glow effect. And now to create a temporary wavy ripple effect. Go to select the edit tab at the bottom of your screen. 
I plan for the wavy effect to happen for one second on the current project timeline from the four second mark to the five second mark. At present, the red playhead is at the four second five frame point. I can move this playhead to an earlier stage of my video by holding in K and tapping J on my keyboard. Hold in K and tap L if you wish for the playhead to shift to a later stage of your video instead. Go to Effects Library. Under Toolbox, select Effects and go to find Adjustment Clip. Drag this effect out to the point on your timeline where you want the wavy effect to occur. Ensure that this adjustment clip goes above the solid color edits that you inserted earlier. Using the red playhead, I'm going to find the 5 second mark now. And adjust the size of the adjustment clip so that this effect only takes place across a 1 second duration of my video. Returning to effects library again, go to open effects and scroll down your filters options until you get to waviness. Drag this onto your adjustment clip. Select your adjustment clip, go to inspector and open effects where the waviness filter should appear underneath your adjustment clip header. Apply the following settings. Waviness type should be vertical. Scale should be 100. Strength 7. Phase 0, Animate Ticked, Speed 0 0.2, and Global Blend 0 0.712 to create an animated wavy effect for your video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.